Since the days of the great Shabaka, unifier of Upper and Lower Egypt, and sire of Pharaoh Tyarka, conflict with the aggressive Assyrians has been the norm. While he still lived, Pharaoh Shabaka saw that it was proper to aid our brothers in Palestine, who were chafing under the harsh rule of Assyria. Beware! The minions of the heathen king Ashahadan are again on the march, and as always, their eyes are on the fertile lands of Egypt. It is now your turn for glory. As royal mayor of Michdo, you will be expected to defend against the series of attacks by these accursed foes. Located on the eastern rim of the Nile Delta, your border fortress is on the front line of Egypt's outer defenses. Properly training your soldiers and establishing trading links to secure weapons or raw materials from which to make your own will be important. Do not falter. A strong military stand is vital to ensure the continued independence of Egypt. If you can hold out for a mere seven years, victory will be assured. Tayarka, the great pharaoh, second son of Shabaka, will be watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the Land of Pharaohs. I am Sajuk and we're going to be heading into the next mission. Mikdol repel the Assyrians. And with these golds being so low, it's like a thousand population, a bit of culture, some prosperity. It is obvious that this is a very military mission. Um... Looks as if apparently we have been fighting with the Assyrians for a very long time since apparently the days of the great Pharaoh Shabaka, who preceded Tyarka, who is the current leader of this one. Um, there's a bit of a reference here to what type of mission this is right here, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Apparently we've got to import weapons or materials to make them, and uh, probably going to get attacked. We're going to continue on hard mode, let's head to the city. And pause time immediately. Now, this is an interesting mission. You'll notice it says up here, Months Until Victory 84. Now, this is a survival mission. And it's slightly different to a timed mission. So, in Tata the Valley and Kadesh, they were timed missions. So, the way you had to win was to meet or, or meet the goals before you ran out of time. So, by the time that ended, zero. This time, the case is you have to play through all these months. And it doesn't matter if you have met... Or exceeded these goals before zero, you will only win once this hits zero and your goals have been met. So we're going to play through seven years regardless. And um, at the end of the seven years, we have to have a thousand people, ten culture, and fifteen prosperity. And clearly, Tyaka doesn't care about his kingdom, the kingdom rating is not a goal. And um, yeah. The mission started with 15,002 demons and they spent 5,000 to build this walled area. So we have to stay within the confines of these walls. We don't need to build outside of it because the attacks are going to come from here. Egypt's here. This is where the Assyrians are going to attack from. Now the way that the attacks start is they start as very small attacks, but they will progress into a substantial invasion by the end and the last invasion is a fairly substantial one. Now we don't have educational structures, so if there's any reeds, which there are, there's a little bit of marshland here and there, not a lot, that will be for exports. We've got reed gatherers, our only resource. We could probably import barley to make beer, which will just be for export. Gods are Osiris Patas Seth, who's the patron here. Uh, Seth, that's good. Uh, got all the abilities to get up to spacious apartment, but we're not going to go that high, we don't need that. We've got fishy wars in two food types, so apparently that's going to be, I think, we're just going to farm our food and we're just going to export whatever we can. Uh, let's just have a look at trade. So we're here, Michdol. If I should just change this to classical names for a second, it is called Pelusium, okay? Um, this is the only mission in the game that has an alternative spelling. The rest are all set by their Egyptian names, because it's the same regardless. So we've got a little bit of coastline here and a little bit up here, not a lot. And there's some birds here that we can't hunt because we can't get over there. Because this floodplain has been designed as it goes right up to a point where you can't get to this island. So we know that. So I'm just going to look at trade. And Komi up here buys chickpeas. 700 demons to open a water trade. They also sell copper. Mm, not worth it. Men of Fair sells uh, pottery, barley and chariots. They also buy papyrus and weapons. Um, Timna buys fish, beer, and papyrus. <coughs> All things that we can make. They also sell weapons and copper. Um, I can tell you right now, you don't need to trade it to Enkomi and it shuts down. I think after the second or third invasion. 
So we're just going to focus on our two land trade routes here of Menifer and Timna. We don't need Inkomi and it just saves us needing to build a dock anywhere. But we are going to sell beer, papyrus and fish. That's our only exports. Uh, we can make beer by importing barley from Menifer. So 2,500 barley makes 2,500 beer, so that's a straight export. But we can sell 5,000 papyrus. I don't think there's enough reeds to support that, so we're not going to be selling that much papyrus. So we are going to put down a shipwright somewhere, here, or wherever, and then we're just going to put down as many fishing boats as we can along this coastline up here and a little bit down here possibly. And we're just going to sell fish. I know it's not worth a lot. I mean, it's 30 free, so it's actually worth quite a bit, but we're not going to be uh, using it as a food tank because we have lettuce and chickpeas. I will uh, set up a little bit of both, and we're just going to farm both because the. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Um, we are going to uh, be requested these items, which will give us three items of copper or weapons, uh, which we will probably just sell. Uh, chariots imports for 280, which is cheaper than normal. Normally it's like 375, but they are cheaper on this because that is pretty much what we're going to be importing. Uh, infantry, archers, and charities. We're only going to set up charioteer companies, and we have to import that stuff anyway. So, yeah, we don't really need to do too much. Just a housing block here, fed with basics up to pottery level, is all we're going to need. And then we can just set up an industry area. So, we're going to stay within the confines of this walled area. And um, just go on with our exports. So our exports are pretty much going to be fish and beer with a little bit of papyrus to whoever buys it. So yeah, I'm just going to set up the housing block and I'll come back in once we've got this area all planned out ready to start building our city because we don't have time. Um, essentially, we have to make sure we... Um, when this reaches 24 months, uh, we have to be working on prosperity so that we can meet the goal in terms of profit. So yeah, I'll come back in a bit uh, once we set up our housing. Okay, so this is what we're going with. We're going to have one housing block right here, and we're just going to flood it with as many houses as we can put in here. Just as many as we can. And here we've got a loop, and this is going to serve as an industrial loop. They will always be able to pass this line of houses by going any direction, I hope. If they get lost, then fine. But there's a 99%, well, 95% chance that they both come down one of these lines and end up touching these houses here, which is what we want. Now, what we're going to do... It's because we might get gifts of items we don't want. We're only going to set up charioteer companies, so we don't need weapons. We're not going to set up um, infantry. But it doesn't matter because there's no carryover troops in this campaign. Um, so any gifts of weapons we get will just be stockpiled somewhere that they can't get to the recruiter, and then we will just export them to um, Men Affair here. They do sell for a lot. Um, 275 and that's more than all the items that we can uh, sell to put together and um, papyrus barley and fish is pretty much all of our exports now I have set up some farms here this farm right here is not connected and I'll try and find some creative solution that connects this one up but if not it's not a problem I can just move some of these farms around and just put down more here we don't really need that much production we just need enough to support this with a little bit of excess for any potential requests that's all that matters so that's 8, 16, 24, 32, 4, 4, 8. So we can get 4,800 food from each of the six farms, which is more, more than enough. That handles any requests as well. And um, we will have towers along here because we will need them at hard difficulty. Um, I might just move things around just to make sure that they work, but we'll see. So we just need to let the people move in. They are moving in now, so these should start getting working. And I'm going to just make sure that infrastructure has priority. So that nothing collapses and burns. We don't want that. So yeah, we've got everything going. I'm just going to let this run. I'm just going to make sure the papyrus and reeds are turned off for now. We don't need that. So yeah, let's just keep on going. And I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Right now, we just need to get our city going. And by the end of this first year, I absolutely need to have my exports right so we can start putting down charioteer companies. The attacks start early and we want to be prepared for them. Okay, so we've hit 500 residents in this city and the unemployment just continues to climb up. So we're halfway to our population target. Culture is not difficult. All I have to do is provide some basic entertainment. Now, I am putting down as many houses as I can, which is fine. And I'm just trying to use up unemployment at this rate. Um, so we've got everything down. We are about to run out of money, but we're just going to go ahead and open 
Let's trade it to Menefer and start to import um, 800 barley and we'll just put down um, that can't go there so let's just do one, two, three, four. The unemployment will come under control with all of this working which is good. This coming online has also used up some unemployment which is even better. And uh, we've got the, the papyrus going as well. So we've got our exports going. Uh, I will import chariots into this yard at the except for papyrus because that's just easiest. If it becomes a problem, I'll just separate, which is not really an issue right now. So we've got all this going. We just need people to move in and they are still continuing to move in. We're still getting consistent movement. Uh, I was going to put down a, a brewery there, but I just realised that doesn't fit, which is not a problem. So we've got enough reeds, uh, as long as I just keep it to one reed gatherer, I should be able to not tap out too much of this. Uh, getting the fishing going will allow us to at least, you know, fish, these two could go and fish there and just stockpile on fish and then I could just sell that to Tinda. It's not worth anything, but who cares? At this point it really doesn't matter. We're just going to put a statue there, that'll just keep these houses from devolving too much. And I've also got to just put down a bunch of shrines, which should be fine. It looks as if some of these buildings are not getting round the whole loop the way I would like them. So you don't seem to be coming round this way, which is a problem. Right, so if you come up this way, you will pass some houses. Because you have to take an average. So you must have just been coming down here and turning back, which is not a problem. So we'll import the barley, and then they will go off and do their thing. I will actually probably... You know what? I'm going to delete you two here. I don't want you to come up and round, round like that. That's just dumb and that'll just take forever and slow things down. So we'll just do this. There you go. So there's a shortcut for you to get out quicker. I know you'll go cross country, but this just saves some time, which is what we want. So we've got a fishy boat made. We will start to sell fish in the near future. We've also got barley production. We've also got papyrus being made as well. Not a lot because there's not much reed potential on this map. There's only just this little bit up here, plus the tiny bit over here. Now also, I forgot to mention there are some asps over here, which in fact, I'm just going to take the opportunity to seal in right now. You are probably going to go through, oh no you're not, you're crafty, which is good. No, let's just box that in. We don't want these asps causing any problems, they do like to run about all over the place, which is a problem. So we've got some papyrus, we're going to start making some beer, once we've got a bunch of beer we'll just sell it to Timna along with any fish that we have. So we should be able to farm up fish quite quickly. We've also got plenty of lettuce and chickpeas, but we'll just stockpile these for now. We're not going to feed people. We don't need to do that. We've got enough people in the city. And if needed, I could just put down more housing. We are not providing a shit ton of services to this block. There's no need to. The limit is pretty much um I mean, look, we've got nearly 700, and these aren't even evolved. Uh, beyond a uh, sturdy hut, so we don't need that much production on this map to support this. We don't even need to import pottery. We can, but we're not going to. There really is no point. Funds are limited as enough as it is, so we don't need to go any higher than ordinary cottage. So yeah, I'll just keep on going. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. First of all, we're probably going to run out of money, and then we need to set up our military industry, once we've got funds, of course. Okay, this is a little problematic. We're going to be attacked by an Assyrian army in one month and we've only just got some troops because I've only just put down the, the charioteer company. So what I'm going to do is given that we don't have many troops, I'm just going to put down a wall. Uh, chariots are really expensive by the way. We're just going to put down a wall and just space out these towers a little bit. And um, we did get rescue funds, so we have used them. So hopefully these towers will help and get staffed quickly enough. We're not going to import any more chariots because that is just wrecking our economy right now. I mean, it's just really tanked us. We are selling fish and beer, which is good. We've also put, uh, put food through the system, which is evolving our housing. Not well, uh, not a good idea because of the fact that we are now struggling for um, employment reasons. So we'll just delete some houses. We don't really need this many people in the city. And when we have all some of these houses, they will become top level anyways. It's not a problem. You've got access to people, which is good. Now, hopefully, they get staffed quickly enough. Right, so you're staffed. 
you'll be staffed, and there's at least someone walking through the gap, which at least for something. So we're gonna have two charioteers, maybe a third, if the sentry gets spawned quickly enough here. Now, I know this first invasion is actually not that big, but yeah. So let's see if we can get through this first Assyrian army, given it's only two years into the mission, and it's taken us this long just to get some troops, I don't think it'll be too big. Okay, we got through that attack without too many uh, issues there. The towers helped to basically keep it in line. Now we are going to have to try and trade up more uh, charities. Those attacks are going to get quite big. We were lucky because we only had a couple of towers and that helped to keep them um, in line. Now we are going to delete these houses here because we are just continually having gun employment problems and I've got nothing to staff them with right now. Now I think what I'll do is I'll just set up one, two, three, four fishing wharfs right here. Like so, and then we'll just put down this. Now this is probably going to get destroyed, but I really don't care, I can rebuild it very easily. Just put that, that, and given that you're not connected to anything, we're just going to put no police station up here, and then that'll do that. So we'll just set up some fishing boats up here, and then we'll uh, get some additional fish a lot quicker from whatever the nearest fishing point is, and we should be fine. So, um, I'll start to import the chariots again once they have run out. Uh, are you, you're heading off home, that's not a problem. So yeah, we're getting our city evolving quite nicely here. We do need to import that barley again, actually. So we'll just import that, and two chariots at a time. That's all we need. So yeah, that was the first attack. Not too difficult. Hopefully the next attacks uh, aren't too bad either. Let's keep on going. Okay, so we're getting another attack, four months to the next Assyrian army, and we have a complete complement of troops. We're going to get the last one in just a minute. We're, we are in quite significant debt, but we are now going to sell fish and beer again, and we've got a big stockpile up here as well. Um, Prosperity's met, so really all I have to do is make sure we don't lose too much money, which just means we're going to have to do occasional um, micromanagement of the chariot in ports, and we should be fine. By the end of this year, we should be able to get out of the... The debt that we're in because we did import a shit ton of chariots there but we should be fine once we sell off fish to all the, the places that buy it. There's only a tin now that buys fish so if we just sell off a bunch of fish we will be fine and um, we should be able to keep our cells in the black which will not affect our prosperity rating. All I have to do is just evolve some more houses and we will hit the prosperity uh, the, the housing requirements to allow us to get more people. Um, I also deleted a bit of uh, wall here um, apart from the fact it was glitching a bit, um, it would just allows the chariots to get out there quicker, which is what we want. They are academy trained, which helps. Uh, let's just put down a bandstand right here. With a juggler school there. And a conservatory right there. That'll satisfy our culture requirements, there you go. So all I have to do is get 100 more people in the city, keep the city stable, and just get through all the attacks without losing too much money. We've got all the fish, that's all we need to do is just hope that Tinder will buy up more fish. Our you, yeah, you've got all the beer and all that for the year. So hopefully you'll buy up a bunch of uh, fish, which will basically keep us tidying over. What is the... Yeah, so we're, if we just sell off a bit more fish, we'll be fine. But let's just set this to get maximum fish, because you're not going to go to the furthest yard, which is really annoying. Yes, yeah, so you're going to go off and buy more fish, which is good. So we'll evolve all these houses, and that will just give us another 100 people that will get us to the, the um, population target. Yep, yeah, let's just keep on going. We'll come back in when we're near that invasion. Okay, a month to go to the next invasion, and we've got a thousand people. So we have basically won the mission, apart from the fact that our prosperity has just dropped because we did lose money last year. But we are selling fish, the trade quotas are reset, so we should be fine there. Now I'm just going to put down 
Uh, another couple of shrines each to the gods. Uh, apart from the fact it will beautify this area, um, it'll just keep the gods nice and happy. Now we are just going to sell off whatever we can. By the next year we should be fine. As long as we don't import too many chariots, we should be okay. Let's just export papyrus as well. And once we've got beer supply in stock, I will export that again. But we need to wait for that. Um, yeah. So our tank's going to be incoming. We've got three towers of the charioteer company. That should be more than enough. And as we're selling fish, we should be able to recover that. So hopefully um, we should be able to keep our prosperity in the black by the end of the year. How many people are willing to come in? Another 57. And we might need just a couple of extra houses just to keep that above the, the 1,000 requirement. In fact, let's just put down some houses there. Now I think we should be okay. As long as we're bringing back fish, we shouldn't need to worry about them going up here, which will speed up trade. We can sell lots of fish, so it is pretty much a basic export on this one. Not exactly the best export on the in the game, but we have very little export potential. It's pretty much tiny amounts of papyrus and beer if we have it in stockpile. So yeah, let's just get that invasion incoming. I know they're going to be going quite some distance, but I really don't care. Here's that invasion, let us progress through it. And with tower backup, we should get through this battle quite easily. The towers are just shooting off all their arrows and doing all the damage to those chariots quite nicely. Now we are going to have to just bring them over here because it looks as if the charioteers are getting murdered just a little bit. And what was that? Because your city was attacked by the Syrian army, the trade route to Aikome has shut down. All they did was buy chickpeas and it would have been far too much effort trying to set that up. So good thing we didn't bother with it. Um, are you going to shoot this guy? Come on. Shoot him. You need to be here. To do anything. So we did lose a couple of chariots. It's not a problem. With all this tower backup we should be fine. There we go. So we had to just import three more chariots. I'll wait for uh, Prosperity to get stabilised because it has dropped. In fact, what we can do is, since we've got beer, we'll just sell it and then import three chariots. Now, I'm going to need more, um, two chariots, sorry. I'm going to need a second charioteer fort. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford it, so I may have to just do some micro, maybe move this statue and just build additional um, towers. Because uh, we are going to need to control the unemployment soon. So, yeah, let's just keep on going. Okay, a bit of famine at Men Affair. They need 600 heads of lettuce and the harvest will be coming in. We're just going to set lettuce to stockpile because there's enough chickpeas in the system. Now over here I have destroyed some houses and set up um, an additional tower. Now we're just going to um, put that there. Uh, we did go into a bit of debt but it's not a problem. I have actually just checked. We can sell out 4,000 fish a year plus a bit of beer which is good. That's going to get us money. Not a lot, but that's not a problem. Now, if we get this staffed, whenever, um, we should be fine. Now, we are uh, suffering some employment issues. Let's just... Um, what's a good way of getting rid of unemployment without spending too much money? And without bulldozing houses. Um, let's just check the gods. Um, I'm not really sure what else I could build. Why don't we just... Um, Put down, you know, let's just put down another work camp for pretty much no reason. Um, that all that's a good efficient way of getting rid of workers. It's twenty, but that's not really the right place. Let's just remove that. Let's just put down a work camp here, and once the lettuce comes in, we will send that off. There we go. Now I'm just going to put down another work camp here, and we're just going to do a double row block right here. This will use up unemployment in a nice, efficient way without really being too annoying, if you know what I mean. Now the prosperity rate should go up as we start to continue to sell stuff. 
Uh, let's just stop stockpiling that because we don't need it. So yeah, we could sell out the fish. As long as we could just stockpile loads of fish, we should be fine because that'll be a good export. I know it's not worth a lot, but we can't sell much else. So yeah. Yeah, so hopefully we get something good out of men, men of fair. In fact, let's just put down a yard here. Now we might be giving copper or weapons, so I'm going to make sure that's available. If it's something else, fine. I'll take it because then I can either export it or make use of it without having to import that item. So yeah, let's just see what the Men of Fair Famine request will give us. Okay, this is absolutely perfect timing. Um, Men of Fair is going to give me 12 weapons. Now, I'm not going to build a single infantry force. So what we're going to do is we're just going to accept that. And Men of Fair, you can just have your weapons back. Because we're just going to sell every one of them to you. For pretty much insane profit. So where's Men of Fair? You're going home, damn. Are you Men of Fair? You're Men of Fair, so you're going to buy up some weapons and that's just going to give us killer profit. Very quickly, so go and buy some weapons. Look at that profit, that is just insane. You know what I can do with that? I can just put down a charioteer fort right there and import some chariots again. We'll just import them very slowly because that was insane profit. It's just given us a shit ton of cash out of nowhere. Now, Men of Fair will buy up another four weapons and we'll still continue to export fish because we can't sell much beer, but we can produce plenty of fish, which is our primary export, apparently. Timna, so how many weapons have we bought? Eight. So, that weapon sales have just pretty much given us the opportunity to expand on our military. We've got four, five towers. I actually managed to get a tower right there and it still works. Um, this is just a very silly way of going about it, but prosperity is going up over time. As long as we don't do too much excessive importing and we just uh, gradually do it, we should be fine. As long as we get this up to eight, that's all I'm going to go for. Because uh, these are veterans and we've got a bunch of towers anyway, so it's not a problem. So yeah, we'll just sell off the remaining weapons. Uh, any gifts or weapons we get, we're just going to sell. And we've got another Assyrian army in four months. So I'll come back in when we're about to be attacked by the Assyrians for the third time, I believe. Okay, the Assyrian army is going to be here very shortly. Uh, we have enough um, chariots incoming that will be that we did sell off all our remaining weapons. So we sold off 12 weapons and it has given us pretty much all the profit we ever needed. I mean, look, it is just shot up and it's allowed us to pay for a little bit more chariot expansion. And that's all we need to do. It's just when we've got the money, lots of it, just import a bunch of chariots. Well, not a bunch of them, but enough just to get one fort filled up or at least part of a fort. So with these two remaining charioteers, we should be able to fight off this invasion. I hope, and hopefully it's not too big. Harvest is coming in. We're getting enough chickpeas, we don't actually have any problems anymore. Anyway, here's that third Assyrian army. Let's fight them off. And it looks as if we managed to just defeat them quite nicely. I just used my weaker um, fort that wasn't full up. Um, actually, hang on, where's the, the full fort? Get back here a second. Let's just make sure that uh, fort doesn't die, because that'd be problematic. Come on, please just die. Right, where's the weaker fort? Go back to fort, and then just send you back home. Come on, go back home. Okay, he's gone after killing most of us. Okay, fine. So we have not... Uh, we've lost quite a number of troops there, so we'll have to rebuild that. We have money. Uh, so let's just import two chariots at a very slow straight speed again. We should have enough money to keep our prosperity up. As long as we don't import excessively, we should be okay. We've sold lots of fish. 4,000. We've sold out pretty much all the beer. Papyrus is pretty much a non-existent export at this point. Can't get enough because there's not enough reeds. But we should be okay. So yeah, next year we'll take over and we should be able to, you know, win the mission. We've only got two years left. We can't allow our prosperity to drop at this point because if it does, it's going to be very difficult to get it back up. 
So yeah, let's just keep on going, keep the city stable, or our years reset. Let's just hope we don't go into too much debt, and I'll come back in once uh, if anything of interest happens, really. Okay, here's another attack in one month. Now, given that we've only got 16 months until victory, I have a strong suspicion that this will be the last of it. And uh, we should probably not have any more after this, and it will probably be a fairly large one. But given that we don't have any carryover troops, I'm not going to be too worried about sending everyone in to die. So, hopefully we can get through this. As long as we get into the next uh, year, without a drop in prosperity, we will win the mission. If I lose this prosperity at the last minute, that's it. It will be loss. And that would be really annoying. Because I worked so hard to get here. On hard. And I think we should be okay. We've got five towers with sentries in the middle. So that's ten people here. Which should be good. So let's find out where this attack comes from. I've also got to head and just quickly put down a festival square. That has a common festival. I'm hoping that Seth will give me a blessing. Which might help. But I don't think he will. Anyway, here's the large attack. Let's see if we can power through it and win the mission. Okay, we just managed to fight that off just barely. We lost pretty much everyone in that attack. They're still doing something. We did lose this uh, gatehouse, but that's not really a problem. I can just put that back for no cost at all. So they left. We managed to just defeat them very easily. We did lose everyone, effectively. These guys are still dating, which is not a problem. But we have only 12 months, and we had to keep this prosperity from dropping. If it drops, we're fucked, basically. So let's just... Turn it to the next year very quickly. Osiris, I don't want your blessing. And the prosperity is there. So hopefully we don't lose this within the remainder of the year. I don't think we'll be importing anything else. So let's just turn off this import and just keep selling stuff. I will join you at the end of the year once we have won the mission because there really is nothing else. It's 12 months to go. We're not going to be getting any more attacks on this mission. Okay, another request. Um... This is definitely going to uh, be the last one. 500 jars of chickpeas in 6 months. Now if I did fulfil this, look, we've got 5 months till victory, the request has 6 months to comply. He won't, if you don't even fulfil this, it doesn't matter because you can't. So we're just going to set it off anyway, it's not going to make a difference, we have won the mission. Everything's stable, our prosperity is not going to drop, we're not importing anything anymore. And we're doing fine. So we only hit a couple of debts, but we managed to get out of it with weapon sales. If we did get that weapon skit, I think we'd be a lot more in problematic areas. So yeah, we built one housing block, just put as many houses there as we could, and just cut back where we needed. Everyone up to Audrey Cottage was more than enough, and it's met our culture requirements as well. Didn't need too much. So we just speed up time. We might get a gift, a uh, useless harvest we don't require. We're not going to get a gift, and we're going to get 8 weapons which we can sell, which has secured the mission anyway. But it doesn't matter, we won't be able to sell them and run out of prosperity so late in the, the game. So yeah, we had our industry pretty much in this area, a little bit of papyrus and beer. Mostly fish is what kept us going. 4,000 fish a year brought in quite a bit of money, I don't know how much that's calculated to. 33 times 40. Someone can work that out in the comments below on the video. But yeah, we pretty much won the mission, that's the first survival mission. And we did quite well against those uh, uh, cities. Luckily we don't have any carryover troops, because I can't be arsed repairing this. So as long as you have basically two forts of uh, Academy Trade Charioteers, you should be fine. Just use those uh, weapons for exports, as you can see, we have sold them, and that's secured the mission financially. We're just going to wait the one more month, and we will win. There we go. Now, of course, you could continue for two or five more years, but there's no more events, uh, so there really is no point. Maybe that famine request might come through a couple of times, but in terms of invasions, there's none. So, yeah, that's Mythdol, the first survival mission. We managed to do it quite nicely. Let us proceed to win the mission. Well done. 
Your personal courage and steadfastness in battle inspired your troops to perform to their utmost. The accursed Assyrians have been ungraciously expelled from Egypt's soil. Word of your deed has reached the Pharaoh, and he is indeed pleased. He should be pleased we were actually defend his kingdom. After all those attacks, that last one was the killer. Maybe on very hard you might struggle, but if you get a blessing from Seth, you'll probably be okay. Uh, culture, pathetic. As long as you provide even a booth, that's all that matters to that goal. You don't even need to provide a bandstand. I just provide a bandstand for the sake of making it look a bit better. Prosperity is a difficult one. Export fish, beer, and papyrus. And just import tries at a very slow rate of speed. If you get a gift of weapons, export the weapons. It's proper profit. And it'll help. Kingdom, as, that doesn't even matter. As long as you've got kingdom, even if that said zero, it doesn't matter because kingdom rating is not a goal on this mission. And good city funds as well, and good population. So yeah, that was Mikdol. If you want to head to the next mission, which is Tanis, which is the final one in the Age of Conquerors campaign, click the, camp uh, the card on the screen, and it will take you there. From me to Duke, that's going to be that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video, everyone. Bye now.